We're going to talk about designing a university database program. So we'll learn how to construct an ER model based around the requirements for a university database. So consider the following set of requirements for a university database that is used to keep track of students' transcripts. The university keeps track of each student's name, student number, social security number, current address and phone, permanent address and phone, birth date, sex, class, which can be any of the following values, freshman, sophomore, senior, graduate, a major department, in a minor department, if there is a minor department, and the, de the degree program that the student is enrolled in, whether that's a bachelor's of arts, bachelor of science, master's or PhD, etc. And some of the applications will need to refer to the city, state, and zip of the student's permanent address and the student's last name. Both the social security number and the student number have unique values for each student. Pause the video here if you can and try to create the attribute for this student entity. Okay, the next entity that we're gonna describe here, um, we're going to create a department and each department is described by a name, a department code, an office number, an office phone, and college. Both name and code have unique values for each department. Pause the video here and see if you can discern what we need to do for the department entity. Each course has a course name, a description, a course number, number of semester hours, level, and offering department. The value of the course number is unique for each course. Pause the video here and try and work this one out. Each section has an instructor, semester, year, course, and section number. The section number distinguishes different sections of the same course that are taught during the same semester year. Its values are one, two, three, up to the number of sections taught during each semester. Go ahead and pause the video here. Okay. A grade report has a student, a section, a letter grade, and a numeric grade, which can be in the range of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, or A, B, C, D, F. Pause the video here and try to create the grade report entity in a model. This is the solution to the problem. We can go through this and work out how each part of this was created. So we have the um, student entity, which has a unique student number and a unique, a unique social security number. We also have a value for the current address, which is a com uh, composite attribute it consists of a street address, a city, a state, and a zip. The student name is also a composite attribute. It has a per, it has a first name, a middle name, and a last name. And then the permanent address isn't shown with all of the um, values attached to it, but it, it has a, it is a composite attribute that has a street address, city, state, and zip. Now, the important thing is when we are describing the requirements for the um, relationship between the student and the department, we said that if there was a minor department, there's a relationship. So you can see that there's actually a minimum of zero and a maximum of one um, for the minor department here. So there's a department that exists and the student could have many um, minors or could, or they could have zero. They do have to have, um, they'd have a major or they could have multiple majors. If we look at the department entity, Department entity has a unique department name and a unique department code. And it consists of a department name, department code, department phone, a college, and an office. It has a relationship um, with a course here. So um, a department could have many courses or it could have no courses. And each course has at least one department. And a course consists of a course number, which is unique. It has a level, a course name, a course description, and number of semester hours. Course shares a relationship uh, with the weak entity type section. So section is a weak entity because it doesn't have a unique attribute attached to it. It has a partial key that consists of the student number, the semester, and the year. And there could be 
um, a minimum of one and a maximum of one, a minimum of one and a maximum of n in this relationship. Now for the grade entity, uh, the numeric grade and the letter grade are going to be unique for the grade. And we have a ternary relationship between the student and the section that shares a grade. So for each student section, there's a grade, a student, and a section. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy this exercise.